So guys, for the first method, you want to find your Word document that you're having a problem with. You want to right click on it and then click on properties. And then you want to tick read only and then click on OK. Now you want to open it up. And now you want to close it again. Now you want to right click on it again. Click on properties, untick read only and then click on OK. Now you want to open it up again. See if that works for you. And now for the second method, you want to head over to Microsoft Word. You want to click on file in the top left and then click on open and then click on browse. And then once you're on this, you want to find where your Word file is. Once you find it, you want to click on it one time, which will then select it. Now, where it says open, you want to click on the arrow, and then click on open and repair. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to head over to Word, you want to click on file in the top left, and then click on options, and now this will come up. Now, you want to click on trust center, and then click on trust center settings. And now once you're on this, you want to click on protected view. Then you want to untick all of this, and then click on OK. And then you want to open it up, but make sure that it's a safe file first. Do not open it if you don't know about the file itself. And then once you open it up, you want to come back to Trust Center Settings, and then go to Protected View, and then you want to enable all of this again, and then click on OK. But only do this method if you're sure that this file is safe. And now for the next method, you want to head over to Word again, and then click on Account in the bottom left, and then you want to click on Update Options, and then click on Update Now. Make sure that your Word is fully up to date. And now for the next method, you want to head over to search again and type in add remove programs. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to scroll down till you find Microsoft Office. You want to click on the three dots, click on modify, and click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to try to do a quick repair first. Select this and then click on repair. If that does not work, you want to do an online repair. Select this and then click on repair. Then you just want to restart your computer and then hopefully that will fix your problem. 